I'm interviewing a patient, we'll call her Joanne, who just had a mild procedure done yesterday. Um, Joanne. Yes. Um, you've been suffering from low back and leg pain for quite some time? Yeah, close to a year. Okay, and how would you describe the pain? Where did it feel like and where did it go? It started at the top of my back and went down through my buttock, down my left leg, into my heel, and all the way to my toe. Okay, and so what did you try in the past to try and make it feel better? Uh, well, I had a number of epidural injections, mm -hmm. some of which you gave me mm -hmm. and some of which I had in New York. My first uh, epidural gave me actually six months relief. It was very, very good. But then after that, it was maybe a few weeks, and then after that, it was nothing. Okay. And at that point in time, I think I asked you, what do we do if we get to the point where it doesn't work anymore? Right. And you said, well, well, when it gets to that point, we'll discuss it. Right. Um, what was the thing that was most difficult? What activity was uh, hardest for you to do because of the pain? At the end, I couldn't stand for longer than five minutes. Mm. Forget about walking, forget about anything. Mm. I mean, in the beginning it was, if I overdid, uh, I would uh, be suffering. But at the last, I'd say the last three months, it was so intense that I could not walk. Wow. Could not walk. Um, so was it as walking went on, pain went up, and then as soon as you sat down, things would kind of feel better? Initially, that was the case, but uh, then, like I said, at the, uh, the very end, the last three months, even getting into bed, elevating my foot, trying to shift from one side of my body to the other. Mm -hmm. I mean, I learned all the tricks in terms right. of what I should do versus what I shouldn't do, but it got to the point where nothing helped. Nothing. Okay. Now, we did the mild procedure yesterday. Yes. And what was that experience like for you? It was nothing. It was a piece of cake. Okay. We used a little a sedation. Little sedation. I was talking to you, conversing mm -hmm. with you during the whole time, mm -hmm. and uh, it was nothing. It was nothing. Great. I've gotten menstrual cramps that are worse than that. <laughs> um, so after the procedure was done, what was the recovery like? Uh, I had said to you, how soon would it be before I felt relief, mm -hmm. and you had told me that. If it works, if it goes the way it's supposed to, you'll feel relief immediately. And I repeated this story to many, many people. Mm. And they all said, hmm, mm hmm, hmm. And my feeling was that I had nothing to lose. I actually had gotten a hold of the top uh, spinal uh, specialist in New York to have the surgery done, mm -hmm. you know, the, 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 the long way, you know. What were they going to do? They were going to cut open my back, and, you know, I, I never actually got to that point because the guy was, the, 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 the surgeon was so up there in terms of his credentials that I couldn't get an appointment from wow. with him until January. My goodness. And he wouldn't see me without all the records going to him, which I had your records sent, records on Long Island, mm -hmm. everything. And then finally the nurse said, okay, we can schedule it and it will be early January. And I said, that's a little too late. I said, January we go to Florida. And uh, I said, I, I, I'm gonna have to figure something out before then. Gotcha. Um, okay, so today, this is, this is day number one. What's it been like today for you? <sighs> today is like I'm, my body is in uh, somebody else's, I mean, I'm like a new person. I woke up, first of all, I, last night I was, kind of tired after the procedure, and I went home and I kind of went to sleep. I took one pain pill just to make sure that I could sleep through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I woke up maybe about 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm so used to, as soon as I move, the pain shoots down my entire left side. Mm -hmm. And that was the first thing I noticed, that there wasn't any pain when I went to move. So I was thinking, mm hmm all right, so let's see, in terms of getting out of the bed. And uh, I went to get out of the bed, and there still wasn't any pain. And I said, oh, my God, please let this not be a dream. Because it's been so long since I have not had pain.
pain. So um, went back to bed, slept until you know six o'clock this morning, mm -hmm. and my husband said, "How do you feel?" And I said, "I'm afraid to say. I feel feel good." But I, again, I figured let me move around a little sure. bit, and I did, and so far so good. I feel a little tightness around where the suture okay. are, mm -hmm. and I'm, I did not obey my doctor's instructions because he said for me to take it slow for four or five days, and I was out shopping from early this morning, and now it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm a little tired. <laughs> All right. Any final thoughts? Any final thoughts? Uh, I, I would tell anyone that has any type of spinal stenosis to find out about this procedure and to jump on the wagon because, and of course, Dr. McRoberts helps the situation a whole lot as well. He's, he's, I, can't, I can't say enough in terms of how grateful I am. I couldn't be happy for you. Thank you. Thanks. Good? Yeah, great.